unreliable citizens database has been identified as the major cause of the economic setback experienced by Nigeria over the years. With this lingering development, it has become difficult for government to plan and project ahead about issues as they concern the well-being of the country's citizenry. The National Identity Management Commission, NIMSI, was however set up to check this ugly menace. To actualize this mandate, the commission recently at the country's commercial city, Lagos, put together its first summit on local government areas and the implementation of the National Identity Management System. This is the first time that we're making uh, a conscious effort to go down to the local government level with our awareness campaign, essentially targeted as enabling the local government chairman, councillors, to understand and appreciate what we have spent quite some time trying to put together. I am delighted that we are all assembled here this morning to at least hear from the National Identity Management Commission what we think we would benefit from this kind of relationship with the local governments uh, here in the political governance of this country. Speaking to Infotech Network at the event, Chris Oyemenam noted that the Commission is committed to discharging its primary responsibilities, amongst which are carrying out the enrollment of citizens and legal residents as provided for in the Act, issuance of unique national identity number NIN to registered citizens and legal residents, issuance of a national identity smart card to every registered person of the age of 16 years and above, provision of secure means to access the national identity database, amongst others. What we're doing here is part of a strategy to engage government at the third tier in terms of encouraging people in our rural areas, in non-urban areas, in urban areas, outside of state capitals, outside of commercial centers to be involved in the national enrollment for the issuance of the national identification number, which we call the mean. And the slogan is enroll once and be identified for life. And we say it's a game changer because basically that's what we need. For some of the local government area chairmen who were present at the summit, the National Identification Number Initiative is a right step in the right direction. They went further to add that they have no option than to give the Commission and other relevant parastatas involved in the initiative the necessary support. Hence, the National Identification Number Scheme is geared towards nation building. Our own support is to go back to our local government to give the instruction to the traditional rulers and to have a community meeting with them and to analyze how this thing can work and how we can achieve it in Nigeria of today. I support it. I think we are getting out of the third world by going to that level. But the chairman of Orolu local government area of Oshun State, Bayo Oyegbemi, who graced the event in his view, questioned the survivability of the scheme. What I'm really doubting is that uh, can Nigerian government, that is the federal government, do the right thing? Because we had about this thing before ID card uh, locket, which is uh, out of uh, use after some years. And uh, another thing is that how will it be uh, an elephant uh, project? Like uh, Ibanez Express, Lagos Ibanez Express Road, when they have uh, commissioned it more than five times and nothing was done about it. Are they going to stop here or we stay here? Or they are going to continue it? That's our I mean, question to the federal government. The national identification number, NIN, is similar to the United States of America's Social Security number, SSN. This is a set of numbers assigned to an individual by the government as a means of tracking its citizens permanent and temporary residents for the purpose of work, taxation, government benefits, healthcare, and other government-related functions.